Are we eating sawdust? Probably. Is it bad for us? We don't really know. How do you know if sawdust is in your food? Well, it's usually labeled under cellulose. It's the insoluble fiber. A great example is celery. When you chew celery, that stringy fibrous substance is called the cellulose. They help in whole food forms, such as eating the celery, not ground up wood so much. How do you know if the cellulose on your label is from a fruit, vegetable, or straight wood dust? You don't. The food companies do not have to disclose where the cellulose is derived from. Why? Why do we have cellulose in our food? Or sawdust? Well, there's actually a few reasons. One, it helps with caking in foods such as shredded cheese, and it's found in Parmesan cheese a lot. It creates a creamy texture in foods such as ice cream, and it is a really cheap filler, less expensive to make processed foods. The FDA approves and allows food companies to add up to 2% of sawdust to our foods. However, an independent lab tested Parmesan cheese from restaurants and grocery stores and found all of them had over the recommended amount and some actually tested up to 21.6%. Some people might hear this and not really worry about it. Sawdust, it's fiber, plant fiber, it's a tree, that's fiber. But for me, it's another reason not to eat processed food and to know your labels, to know what's in them. Just a little food fact for you. Do you want to eat sawdust? Maybe some of you don't care. I don't want to eat sawdust.